three-year-old making his first start at Richmond, Sammy Smith. A bit delayed by the rain, but we're off and rolling in Richmond. All clear, all clear up on. All good in the hood, all good. All good in the hood, right off the bat. Yeah, this is one of those racetracks that it takes a couple laps for your tires to come in, right? I mean, you want new tires, but you want the low air pressures as well for the long run. And it usually takes one, two laps for the for the ultimate grip really to come in for these guys. Um, so we'll see kind of the first few laps who's the real fast cars to fire off. But I think by lap 20 or so, it starts to show who the real shiners are here. Yeah, and I think the great part about this racetrack is it has great markers, right? So you know you need to be on the yellow line. It has great markers on the wall. It's got a patch in turn one that, that you can use for a reference point. And a lot of these guys, well, they most of all the guys up front anyway, will have been in the simulator, have good reference points, and, and worked on their cars uh, in, in the simulator as we see a pass for the lead. For the lead, Sammy Smith on point. Drives to the inside of Justin Allgaier. Hemrick is there. Those top four all in the mix for that dash for cash. Sammy Smith passed for the lead. He's, he's never been here before. <laughs> <laughs> it's a theme for him, right? It's, it's like all year long. Everywhere we go, he's never seen the track. Don't worry about it. Leads laps. Side by side for second. Teammates. You got all guy, you got Mayer. Seven and one. I just feel like you have a few laps to make this top side work. And then you better go find the paint fairly early. But I think you got five, seven to laps or so, you can maybe roll the top, especially to cars that may not be handling perfect right now. You see the seven of Justin Algar kind of struggling on the bottom there. 19, yep, it's Joe Graff Jr. Third start of the year, driving the 19 for Joe Gibbs Racing, also runs the 38 for Sieg. He gets it down below the yellow line. Looks like we will stay green as he hits the pit lane. Yeah, he also hit the wall. The right side of that car is flat. Yeah, that's a tough break right off the bat. He was 19th here. You see the tires are already down there. That's why the car just takes a hard right into the wall. It's a pretty big impact as well. Probably bent some stuff along the way there, Kevin. Yeah, I'd say so. You see that left front tire went down and it just gets on the, it just won't turn. And um, with these cars having the, the, the fiberglass bodies on them, that's a big shot. When you see damage that, that extensive. Makes you wonder if there was contact or you know, start the air pressure's too low and a little too aggressive. Uh, could could be uh, well, a few things there. Yeah, and you hate to see him, you know, obviously he went into this car, into the Gibbs car, hoping that he would have a good run. And then you started off at a left front flat and into the fence. And it's a tough situation. Last week, Cole Custer had a great run going at Coda, got sent off track, went through the gravel and had to sit there for a bit, so it cost him a great finish. That's why he started so deep in the field today with qualifying rained out, but Custer's up inside the top 15, racing Sieg in the 39. That's Ryan Sieg. Now let's go back and see what happened to Joe Graff Jr. Maybe this is the reason the tire got cut down. Oh, you just, yeah, the double zero was out of room there. 19 didn't know they were three wide, and the 26 got into the double zero, which in turn sent him up the tra track. Pretty pretty typical Richmond. Yeah, 